Now, Amanda Cerny, who's been a Playboy playmate, she blew up on Vine, is now blowing up on YouTube. Whether they rose together. Well, she made accusations against Lele Pons and posted text messages that seemed to confirm that Lele went into her account, deleted tons of Amanda's most popular videos, untagged her, privated her account so she couldn't get new followers, essentially sabotaging her. And if the text messages are real, it seems like Lele owns up to it at the end, saying, I'm so sorry about that. I feel a lot of drama going on, if you couldn't tell, and the main reason why I posted about it was because Lele has um, started like a group chat with all of her fan base saying that I deleted her video, and which was a lie, and then she knows that, and she would never even think of saying that to me because it's that much of a lie. And um, so at that point, I'm like, all right, she's posting that on social media. I need just to let out the truth and post the text and everything that she has said to me, admitting to what she did to me and the reason behind why she did it, which was, I, I think it was out of just hate and for no reason. And I don't know. I really don't know why. Um, but yeah. So she was just supposed to be my best friend, and then all of a sudden, we never fought once in our entire friendship. I was always there for her, and then now, like, she, I found out that she did this, and I found out, like, a month and a half ago that she was deleting all of my successful videos on Instagram and on YouTube, and putting my account on private, and tagging me in photos, and... I wouldn't even dream or think for a second of it being her. And then when I was playing charades with her one day, she got up and I look over and this was like end of July, this happened. And I look over and then she has my phone in her hand and I thought she was just Snapchatting. And I was like, wait, that's my phone. And I didn't even know she knew my passcode. <laughs> and then um, she's like, yeah, I'm Snapchatting for you. And I'm like, I have like, that's really weird. She never does that. And then I went on my Instagram and looked and my photo was gone. So I didn't say anything, but at that moment I kind of knew it was her. And I just went up to my apartment and the next day I call her. I'm like, Lele, did you delete my photo? And she was like, no, Amanda, I would never do that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm your best friend. I was like, okay, like I hope not because... Every time my photos and videos would be deleted, you would be the one that was right by my side being like, don't worry, Amanda, that's so weird. YouTube and Instagram is doing this to you. Um, good thing I'm your best friend. I'm here for you. That's so crazy. Maybe you should just not post on YouTube anymore. And I'm like, okay, yeah, it's kind of discouraging. Like, I don't know why this keeps happening. But anyway, so she came up to my house later that day and was like, Amanda, are you still going to come to Italy? And I'm like, no, of course not. Like, never. I, I can't be friends with somebody who deleted my stuff. And she's like, Amanda, I didn't delete it. I'm like, Lele, did you delete my videos? And she's like, okay, I did it. I'm like, why? <laughs> why did you do that? And then she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she said, because she's Latina. And I'm like, no, girl, I have a lot of Latina friends that would never do that that are amazing and very supportive and just fucking awesome people. Latinas are the shit. But, um, and they don't do that. But, um, especially to your best friend. Anyways, so she admitted that, and I wasn't going to say anything to anybody. I was just going to not be her friend, move forward, focus on my career, and then she goes and reaches out to her fan accounts because all of them were asking why we weren't following each other. So she decided to secretly go and explain it to them, and then I started to get attacked by all of Lele's fan accounts saying, Amanda's a cunt, Amanda's mean to Lele, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what is this coming from? So I text Batch and I'm like, Batch, like, look at all this. Like, where, where is this coming from? I haven't said a word on social media. And um, just to be kind to Lele, even, I don't even know why I would be, but I was. And then um, I was like, you know what? I just need to like, clear my name, let the truth out, and let the truth do, do what it does, because the truth, I guess, always wins at the end of the day. So I just uh, posted it. It's on, it's right now, I posted it like two days ago. I like just sent all the texts I had, 
all like the evidence or whatever I had, which is all speaks for itself. And I just sent it to Nick Ritchie at thedirty.com and then he posted it. And now a lot of you already know about it. Some of you don't, but that was the situation I had going on today. And even more than that, like it's just been hectic. Uh, all these like the press and everything has been reaching out. Like, Lele sent two cops up to my house um, to ask me to take down the post that I did on my Instagram account. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to take down my post. That's me just revealing the truth of the situation. And how, like, she couldn't even ask me. She had to send the police up to my house. Like, is that where our tax dollars are going? I don't know. That's horrible. <laughs> But anyways, it's out there, posting this vlog, done with it, have to move forward. Like, I feel relieved and very relaxed that I was able just to get the truth out. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling on for so long today. This is making my vlog longer for you guys. <laughs> um, but I feel good just to let it out and to know that, okay, you guys know the truth now. And she recently came under fire for posting this picture to Instagram with the caption, Donated my hair! First time I ever cut my hair! What do you think? Okay, well the reason people got angry and started shouting fake news is they zoomed in on the picture. And people pointed out that it looks like the hair they're claiming was just cut off of Lele is actually a bunch of extensions. One of the biggest posts pointing this out has been retweeted over 75,000 times. And talk about shit. So I went up to Lele. I will never forget. It was her 18th birthday. I went up to her and I was like, oh, happy birthday. Do you want to come to Cheesecake Factory with us? And I shit you not, this bitch. <laughs> she looks at me and she's like, well, you're the famous one, so you decide. What does that even mean? Like, she's so weird. Went to Cheesecake Factory, she ended up coming, and my brother Joey went up to her because he hadn't met her yet. He goes up to her face to face, like, you know, like how humans meet, and he said something along the lines of like, oh, I don't think we've met yet, I'm Joey. No shit, she looks at him with a blank stare and then just stares off and walks away. It was like super fucking rude. Now let's talk about the fact that she tries to make it seem like she hit puberty and it did her wonders when she obviously got a nose job. Look at these pictures. If you just Google Lele Pond's nose drop, these literally come up. And she's even admitted to getting a nose drop, but she still posts pictures saying that puberty did her well and to tag three friends. It's honestly very cringy. Even I can say that your nose job looks great. It wasn't puberty and that's still okay. She doesn't have to be ashamed of getting a nose job. Lele is a very beautiful girl, like everyone knows this, but she tends to post her glow up pictures on Instagram all the time. Cue the receipts. Puberty did her very well, but a lot of people get mad at her because she got a nose job, which she did admit, but still, puberty did not change her entire face. You still got plastic surgery. So yeah. Oh, hey, thanks for coming. Uh, you know what to do. I'll be back in three hours. Thank you so much. It's hard <laughs> not life for us. It's hard not life for <laughs> us. Sad kisses. Break down. I know how you feel. I'm so excited to clean, too. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys want to clean? I, I, I vacuum. You clean. We don't uh, work. <laughs> what? This is vacation. Oh, you yeah. clean? Oh. oh. It didn't work. I thought it was gonna work. You know what? I got this. Girl, come on. Okay, you know I love our friends. You know I do, but they don't know what they're talking about. This is gonna be our secret weapon. Cover Girl Total Tease Mascara. I'm gonna give you a makeover. You will not forget. This mascara is going to give you f
No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Oh, shit. I hate it when people think that blonde girls are dumb, you know? Like, that's not dumb. Oh, my God. Not dumb. Who's that? Oh, no, it's just my ex. He wants to know what we're doing. Turn down for what?